The James Webb Telescope is constantly being observed by astronomers using the most advanced space observation instruments. But during these observations, the James Webb Telescope, while doing its usual research, detected something, a terrible star about to explode that could harm our planet. This bright red star, called Betelgeuse, is located in the upper right of the Hunter constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is the second brightest star in the constellation after the blue giant Rigel, also known as Alpha Orions. Many stars, including our Sun, have this feature, but the dark spots in this red supergiant are reported to be much larger and much more numerous. Betelgeuse remains an object of interest for stellar studies and observations due to its variable nature and strange name. Called Alpha Orion, Betelgeuse is one of the most famous stars due to its unique properties, such as its brightness, size, and reddish hue. It is the seventh brightest star visible from most parts of North America, Europe, and Canada, and the tenth brightest star in the entire sky. Armpit of the Giant is a simple translation of the Arabic name Betelgeuse. The giant is attributed to Orion, but the Betelgeuse is more likely to symbolize a hand or shoulder. It has a distinctive reddish color created by its intense surface temperature, estimated to be about 3,500 kelvins. This is quite hot by our standard scale on Earth, but certainly not as hot as our Sun's average surface temperature of about 5,500 kelvins. Its temperature means that it emits much less energy per unit surface area than our Sun. Exactly 300 years ago, Chinese astronomers reported that Betelgeuse was a yellow star, probably because Betelgeuse used to be a yellow giant star. Large stars usually use up their hydrogen faster and die out sooner. Although it is only about 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its existence, so a supernova explosion is likely to occur soon. But what it might occur is still under debate. Betelgeuse goes through two cycles of dimming and brightening every five years, lasting about 100 days. At each step of these cycles, the star's circumference and temperature average. Between 2019 and 2020, the darkening cycle of the Betelgeuse was unstable, and then there was a marked increase in its usual brightness. According to astronomers, this could be a sign that the star is coming to the end of its existence. Since the first century BCE, the star Betelgeuse has been intensively studied and researched. Now it is a matter of great curiosity why it has suddenly faded against its usual cycle. Betelgeuse has been observed to be detached from its position in the Orion OB1 binary and moving through the interstellar medium at a speed of 30 kilometers per second, creating a shock wave called a bow shock, which is wider than four light years. Photos taken and published in July 2009 by the European Southern Observatory's VLT telescope revealed a massive gas cloud extending 30 astronomical units from the star into the atmosphere. The distance of this gas cloud, one of many things that occur in the atmosphere of Betelgeuse, was equal to the distance between the Sun and Neptune. By unraveling the mystery of mass loss in the final stages of a star's existence, it will be possible to find the cause of this giant star's horrific demise. Research into the diameter of the star has raised questions about the complex dynamics of its expanding atmosphere. While it is not yet clear how mass loss occurs, it is known that giant stars play an important role in recycling the material that makes up galaxies. By February 17, 2020, its brightness remained constant for almost 10 days and then began to increase again. However, after five days, the star appeared to stop dimming. On February 24, 2020, no change in the infrared waves was observed, suggesting that the visual dimming was not related to the expected core collapse or explosion. 
Another study on the same day concluded that the star's dimming was most likely caused by large grains of circumstellar dust clumping together. It can be observed by the James Webb Space Telescope, which can study its surface properties, and it may be possible for the Webb Telescope to image the ejected material in the infrared as it moves away from the star. But tell Jesus fading has stopped and it may finally reclaim its place in the top 10 brightest stars in the sky. 100,000 times brighter than the sun, making it one of the brightest stars in the sky despite its distance. Unfortunately, there is a price to pay for this spectacular brightness, and that is that the Betelgeuse sun will run out of fuel faster than it should because of the spectacular energy that accelerates its extinction process, and when it finally runs out of fuel, it will collapse under its weight and become a dazzling supernova. We don't know when all this will happen. The question is, will the supernova explosion harm the Earth? No, since the explosion will occur so far away from our planet, there is no possibility that it will completely or partially end life on Earth.